Hey, what's up, everybody? The boys said did not chat last time because of the gamer tag. Eh, don't be embarrassed about the gamer tag. It's all good. Foxy, Glenn. Hey, welcome, Glenn. Yeah, man, just kick it with us, even if you're not breaking. It's all good. It's good just to see what's uh, in the products and uh, see what's out there, at least. And as usual, to get everybody in here, we're going to put uh, two and a half minutes on the clock. So our two and a half minutes will start now. And in two and a half minutes, we're going to start with uh, our first break, which is break 37. Break 37 is the SPX, SPGU, ingrained, black diamond, buyback, and one box of leaf. And just to tell everybody up front here, as everybody gets in, with the uh, leaf, I'll do the same thing I've been doing. This is the last box of leaf we have, thankfully. Uh, we'll probably go offline after both breaks, look up the teams that are on the cards, the players and what teams are on. We'll come back live within a half an hour and random off the uh, the break. So I'll explain it again a little bit later, but uh, kind of how we're going to do that one. So, again, we'll start with 37, then we'll go with 41. And we got about a minute and 45 that's on the clock, and then we'll get, get things going. <clears throat> We've hit some, uh, Glenn, we've hit some cool Islanders autos, though. We had, um, wasn't bossy. It was a definitely a player from the late 80s, early 90s. We hit um, uh, Islanders auto and ingrained. I can't remember who it was, though. Might have been bossy, but I can't remember who if it was him or not. <clears throat> hey, Kurt, what's going on, Chris? See you up to a... Uh, Big number 12. Yeah, there's some classics there with those guys. <clears throat> so we got about 45 seconds left before we start on 37. Yeah, Foxy, who is the uh, the Gilbert Grape of the Brakes, says it was a uh, bossy, so I'll believe him. Adam confirms. Skinneth confirms. What's going on, Stemmers? I think Foxy takes meticulous notes of every break and of every card. <laughs> Peck a stick card. Yep. Hey, David Bird finally made it into chat. There he is. All right, alarm just went off, so we are about ready to break. Hey, Glenn, I'm right there with you age-wise, so I just know some of the old-timers because I'm a second-generation hockey fan, so I kind of passed down, like, all the big names. But uh, here we go. Let's get this going with uh, break 37. Congrats or uh, good luck, everyone, who uh, bought into 37, and uh, hopefully pull some fire here for you. And um, – Let's get this thing going. So we got our first box of SPGU. Kick it open. There's some numbers for uh, Foxy to write down and keep in his catalog. <laughs> Glenn's sticking up for Foxy there. I like it. All right. If you guys do notice, I have four painted nails. My wife painted my nails the other night because she was bored. So I got four of them there. If you notice weird colors, that's what it is. It's not the not the coronavirus. All right. So first box SPG. Here's the numbers there. We got our pack. We got our empty box. And here we go. We will put Detective Pikachu down. Even though if you were quick, you probably saw that top card, which will be the first card. There's empty wrapper. Give me just a second here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, there we go. There we go. All right. So first up we have for Colorado, Miko Rantanen jersey card. Miko Rantanen. Nice, uh, kind of a light blue color there for the uh, abs. So Miko Rantanen. Get him moving here. 
I can get my uh, sleeve going. There we go. All right, Miko Rantanen for the Colorado Avalanche. Nice blue jersey. This is going to be a non-numbered card, but still a pretty nice one there. There we go. I don't know why this is not working. There we go. Next up we have four. Uh, Brady Skaji, I'm drawing a blank on the team right now. It's from the 2015 NHLPA Rookie Showcase. Don't tell me in the back. This would be the Rangers. So Brady Skaji, Showcase Standout, dual jersey card here. He's wearing the NHLPA jersey. That's why it's a little tough for me. I didn't see the logo on the back. But as it says, from the 2015 NHLPA Rookie Showcase, Showcase Standout. Nice double jersey there for the Rangers. Uh, Shay, yes, thanks for the uh, correction on the last name. <laughs> One of these times I'll get it right the first time. So Brady Shay. So there we go. And also not numbered, still a uh, nice card. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the top loader real fast. There you go. All right, next up we have... For Vegas, Cody Glass with a uh, Vegas jersey colored patch there. It's a little off colored from the picture, but that's all right. This is a 543 out of 599. 543 out of 599 for Cody Glass and the Knights. Throw that in here. Backside, real quick. Nice card of Cody. And next card we have for Columbus. Somebody said don't pull Columbus, right? I didn't see who it was. But we have Elvis Merzlikens autograph with a patch with one, two, three, three different colors. So you have kind of the silver there, the black, and then if you turn it this way, I don't know if you guys can see up the camera, there's red down at the bottom. Right at the bottom. We'll, we'll get to the, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sound uh, Columbus is kidding. We'll get to the signature autos here in a second. This is actually 11 out of 15. So a nice low numbered Elvis here for the Blue Jackets. 11 out of 15. Nice low numbered card. There we go. So Columbus, Blue Jackets, and Elvis Merzlikens. Again, 11 out of 15. There's the back real fast. There we go. We'll sound the auto horns. Yeah, Foxy said that was... Yeah, Chris. Sorry about that. All right. And our next card for our first box of SPGU, we have... Matthew Barzal, 37 out of 275. 37 out of 275 for the Islanders. We were just talking about uh, Islanders players right as the break started. So 37 out of 275 for Barzal. <clears throat> the numbers were kind of right there. Hard to see with the uh, glare, but they are there. And here's the backside real fast. Barzell, Let's see if I can get into focus. Does not want to do it with the uh, penny sleeve on it, but a solid card there for Barzell and the Islanders. And our last card out of the pack of SPGU, we have Matthew Kachuk for the Flames. Kachuk for the Flames. And this is number six out of 275. Six out of 275. Also does not want to focus. But Matthew Kachuk, 6 out of 275 for the Calgary Flames. Throw him in there. There we go. Now we'll move on to the SPX. And we got some numbers there for Foxy to record. And some numbers there. I'm giving you that half second uh, view time, Foxy. <laughs> All right, just cutting it right here in the front. 
There we go. We got more numbers there. Stature, I believe, comes out at the end of the month. I think I've told you guys enough that you've seen this. Uh, we're going to look into order some of this. Also looking at OPG comes out. Um, OPG um, Platinum comes out at the uh, middle of the month. So I might be looking into that in the next order too. But Stature and Platinum both seem kind of promising. And there's Empty Box. All right. So our first pack of SPX we have. For the Florida Panthers, nice sharp card here. Brady Keeper, you see his auto there is kind of in a silver, off silver marker. This is number 33 out of 125. 33 out of 125 for Brady Keeper and the Panthers. Teams that, teams that nobody wants, usually, coming up strong. So Brady Keeper here. Solid, just that autograph's awesome too. Nice silver, silver sharp reaction there. We will get him in his sleeve. Come on now, here we go. Come on now, there we go. Just thick enough to get in the uh. Top loader is skinny enough, I should say. So a nice one here of a uh, keeper. Yeah, it is BK. <laughs> uh, 33 out of 125. Here's the back there. And show the front more time. Sharp looking auto. Yeah, a little uh, a whopper of a hit here too, I'd say, with my pun there for Glenn. <laughs> we'll sound the auto horns. I'll try not to have any more uh, puns. Other card is the slug as usual. And get back. And next up we have... For Columbus, starting the theme here of the uh, of the teams that nobody wants, we have a jersey of Cam Atkinson for the Blue Jackets. Get into focus here. Lots of colors going on, so doesn't want to. Yeah, Chris. Chris, I think you cursed yourself as soon as you said, uh, don't pull Blue Jackets. But... Not one to come into focus on my camera, I think, because of the 84 different colors on this card. But there we go. So Cam Atkinson with the nice uh, sweater patch there. Sharp-looking card. All right. Show the back there real fast. There you go. Sharp card. Throw him in top loader. All right, and slug. And next up, we have for the Chicago Blackhawks, <clears throat> Adam Boquist. Boquist. This is number 187 out of 199 for the Blackhawks and Boquist. Even these designs are really cool, too. They got the – usually they have the, uh, the black, the blue, and I think the – Silver, as far as the uh, backgrounds here for the numbers, it looks like they're kind of busted out of glass, but kind of a cool uh, rookie card there. Again, it was 187 on this undercover cop out of 199 for uh, Boquist and the Blackhawks. Hopefully, some of y'all got that reference there. There you go. And last pack of SPX. <laughs> All right. Glenn gets it. And we have empty wrapper. And last up for the Penguins, we have Matt Murray on a nice uh, big yellow patch there. Matt Murray, this one's kind of a gold trim, and gold is a uh, looks like 199, 55 out of 199. Can't tell if it's gold or if it's uh, I think it's just more for the uh, team colors on that one. 
Actually, this is silver. The last card was silver and was out of 199. This one's gold and also 199, but 55, 199 for Murray and the Pens. Nice looking card. Flip them over. There we go. Sharp card there. All right. Moving on, we have the slug we have uh, ingrained. So usually we're getting some fire out of these. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully more than just the uh, Panthers and Blue Jackets in this one. For everybody else. Pack, box, and barcode number. Anybody wants it? All right. Where is Pikachu? There he is. All right. Empty wrapper. Going kind of slow tonight, but that's all right. All right. First up, we have for the Senators, Maxime Lejoy. Maxime Lejoy for the Ottawa Senators. Kind of the uh, brownish, maybe, maybe silverish colored base. So Maxime Lejoy for the Sens, sharp card here. <clears throat> yeah, Glenn, they, they go thick with uh, ingrained. They really do, and they're even thicker if they have the little medallion cards, which this one does not, but they can get thick and heavy real quick on these. Here's the back for Maxime Lejoy for the Senators. Lejoy. There we go. Next up we have... For the Canadians, Remnants, Jan Cornoyer. I'm going to jack his name up. Yvonne Cornoyer. This is numbered uh, 69 out of 100. And it's got his little wooden stick there. Yvonne Cornway. Thanks, Glenn. Yvonne Cornway. I'm learning the, uh, the I'm learning French tonight on the uh, Corona break, but a nice sharp card here, 69 out of 100. Let's throw him in the sleeve. We'll turn him over here on the back. And Foxy says Ivan Corn, yay, yay, <laughs> Corn Yeezy, I think. Um, here's the back here. This says it is a game used memorabilia. So I'm assuming it's a game used stick. Solid card though. Really like that one. The Canadians. Next up, we have for the Washington Capitals. Thought this was going to be an autograph for a minute, but it's a uh, patch card, black and white patch, four out of five for Alex Ovechkin. Four out of five for Mr. 700. Super low numbered on here. Could have only been better if it was an uh, autograph card, but. Still solid, low numbered, four out of five for uh, Ovi and the Caps. Uh, AJ Fred, we got um, autos have been Brady Keeper and Elvis Merzelkins for Blue Jackets and um, Panthers so far. Yeah, Glenn, four out of five for Ovi. Nice two patch card, two colored patch card, but would have been even sweeter if it was the uh, auto there. But sweet card, though. So a super short number. I'd be happy with that with my collection. And for an auto here we have for the Kings, Jarrett Anderson Dolan for the rookie signature shots. Jarrett Anderson Dolan. Solid little auto there on the um, manufactured stick. It's got his, looks like his, the J and then like a scribble for last name of number 28. This is number 104 out of 249. 104 out of 249 for Jarrett Anderson Dolan and the Kings. Yeah, Chris, the uh, it's definitely like the blade of the stick. They made that perfectly, like the carbon fiber blade of the stick. I do like it a lot too. So he does not want to come into focus with the penny sleeve. There we go. I'll bring him up close. 
turn them over here. But Jared Anderson Dolan for the LA Kings. We'll sound our auto horns. I'm just going to top loader if this might not fit. And no, not going to fit in the top loader. Too thick. So he will go in one of our plastic cases. I'll just set them off to the side for now, but we'll do the auto horns. There we go. Give me just a second. I had a drink here with no coaster and it's leaking everywhere. There we go. All right. Um, Birdie scored 17 goals yesterday. <laughs> All right. Next up we have for the Blues, Jordan Kiru. Jordan Kiru, this is number six. 59 out of 299. 59 out of 299 for Jordan Kiru and the Blues. Sharp looking card. Glenn, I'm drinking a little local beer. Um, it's called Requiem. It's an 8% Baltic Porter. So again, 59 out of 299 for Jordan Kiru and the Blues. Sharp looking card. Kiru. There we go. All right, and our last card from Ingrained for Boston, we have Pasta. And if you see the top there, kind of got the little white edges going on there. But not too noticeable unless you're really looking for them. But we have uh, Pasta, and this is number 4 out of 299. 4 out of 299 for Pasternak and the Bruins. Glenn, Requiem for a Dream is a... Uh, it's an interesting movie with Sarah Connolly, who's one of my favorite actresses. But a very weird one. Movie that is. All right. <clears throat> so move on to our Black Diamond box. Here we go. We got our numbers here. Yeah, David, it's nice to see you finally in the uh, in the break chat. So we got our one exquisite plus our main pack. And we got some numbers back there. Anybody want some? That's all of them. All right, we'll do our exquisite pack, one card pack here first. Empty wrapper. We have for the Flyers, Joel Farabee with a nice uh, three colored patch there. Nice black, white, and orange. And I don't know if he will come into focus or not. Does not want to come into focus. He's on the like kind of the matte black, which I think is thrown off the camera here. Let me turn it to the side a little bit. But uh, Joel Farabee and the Flyers, 118 out of 299 for the exquisite rookie patch. Does not want to try to hold him down a little bit toward this way. Yeah, he's he's having difficulties uh, focusing in. But a nice one for Farabee and the Flyers. He will in the uh, top loader here real fast. There we go. Top loader's helping out. It was. But Fairbairn and the Flyers, uh, three colored patch, 118 out of 299 there. <clears throat> Sharp card. Now we'll go to the main pack. We will get Tech the Pikachu back out for us. Empty wrapper. Sideways here. So first up for the Ottawa Senators, we have Vitaly Abramov. Vitaly Abramov. Let me try to hold him off at an angle. There we go. Vitaly Abramov. This is number 60 out of 399. Sharp looking card. Descends. Go to the back here. 
So rookie gems, Vitaly Abramov, 60 out of 399. Next up we have for the Rangers, Henrik Lundqvist. This is a diamond in the rough relic. So a big old piece of jersey there for Henrik and the Rangers. Sharp looking card too. So Lundqvist and the Rangers. Burn that, Henrik, says Glenn. <laughs> there you go. It is a sharp-looking card. I got nothing against him. He's more and more of the uh, against the uh, Matt Murray for the uh, Penguins goalie, but against my Caps. But cool-looking card there of uh, Henrik. And coming up next, we have for Vegas Golden Knights. Jumbo patch of Cody Glass. Jumbo patch of Cody, and we got the top right corner of the uh, the helmet here, as you can see. This would be a sick one to collect. I imagine it'd be uh, probably four cards, maybe six cards to have that whole logo. But absolute awesome patch there of Cody Glass Jumbo logo. I saw somebody on Twitter had. Um, the Detroit Red Wings logo completed, and it was stunning. It was amazing. I'm sure they spent a lot of money on it, but it's absolutely beautiful seeing the whole logo in cards. Foxy, this is the one you need right here. So who had – just doing some uh, looking over here. Well, you were the uh, Knights also, so you got it. If this is the one you needed – be cool to see your complete set, Foxy, when uh, when you get it done. What a sweet one here of Cody. Show the back there real quick. Back doesn't want to come to focus, but also the front pretty good. Now you just need the bottom middle. Awesome, man. Glad you uh, found the one you're missing here. Cool card. And next up for the Blackhawks, we have a triple diamond relic rookie of Kirby Deck. We got the three diamonds there. I'm going to hurry up and put him in a uh, top loader just in case I were to mishandle him. But this is the one with the three little manufactured diamonds. But three diamonds there, and this is, again, 95 out of 99 for Kirby Dak and the Blackhawks. Absolutely awesome card. Kind of just holding there in focus for a second or two. But sweet, sweet card there. Yeah, flip them over. This is um, two black diamonds in a row that we pulled the little uh, diamond relics. So nice one there. We'll put him on display. We've had could have put Cody Glass on display too, but nice one there of Kirby. Uh, maybe a triple. Uh, is that like a triple Lindy there, AJ? I'm not getting your reference. And finally, the last card of Black Diamond we got Devin Dubnik for the Wild. This card really pops, too, the green on the black silver, which my camera probably doesn't do it justice. But a nice green just kind of pops out of that uh, dull silver in the background for um, Devin here. This is 179 on a 249. I'm trying to get this little focus in, get it in the top loader here in a second. There we go. 179 on a 249 for the wild. And dubs. This really pops out. Real fast too. All right, so that's the end of the black diamonds. I think that's a pretty solid uh, black diamond box there. Now we'll go to buybacks.
from a Call of Duty thing from like 2012. All right, so we got a bunch of numbers here if anybody wants them. All right. Put Pikachu in here real fast. There's our other set of numbers if anybody wants some. And for our kind of our base card, we have Gila Fleur, 22 out of 25. 22 out of 25 for Gila Fleur and the Canadians. I'm trying to bring them to focus here. There we go. Looks like he's skating off to the uh, his left with his hair flowing graciously in the wind. So 22 out of 25 for Lafleur Canadians. There we go. And our main card here. It is going to be for Detroit Red Wings. Empty box, by the way. So for the Red Wings, we have, holy cow, a jumble logo of Pavel Dotsik. Pavel Dotsik. A big fat logo there. Good luck collecting this uh, Red Wings logo wheel. This is from the Cup, and it's a limited logo, 45 out of 50 for Pavel Dotsik. So a sharp looking Red Wings hit there. And this isn't a, uh, a true buyback. Here's the back. You can actually see on this one. Backside there, and then front again. Sharp looking card. Again, you got the number down here in the bottom right. Probably doesn't want to come into focus and start in the top loader. There we go. Just a sharp looking uh, clean auto. And it's a nice clean big patch there too. Just sweet card. And so somebody asked, let's see. Red Wings is uh, RMK515 for this break. So congrats to him. We'll put him there. Sound the auto horns. All right. So like I said earlier in the break for uh, Leaf, this is the last box we have in our breaks, thankfully. And uh, what we'll do is like we did last time, for any of the multi-hits, which I'm sure they're going to be in here, we'll go offline after the second break. And within a half hour, we'll come back and we'll random off the teams who uh, who are on the card. So that'll be – and then they'll add them to their, their envelopes going out. Here we go. And I know Foxy always does. If you guys want to help out in the chat as far as the teams, uh, make my life a little bit easier. It would be highly appreciative. So here we go. All right. Put Pikachu back on the top here. Because they come in these top letters, empty box. I don't call these top letters, they'd be the, uh, the plastic card holders. All right. David Bird says, every one of these cards in here are Boston. I think we'll agree with him and just give them all to David Bird, make it easier for everyone. Here's the empty case. It's only the fair way to do it is give them all to Bird. But first up, we have Jacques Lapierre and Mark Howe. Jacques Lapierre and Mark Howe. And this is a legendary number two card, 8 out of 25. 8 out of 25 for Jacques Lapierre and Mark Howe. Eight out of 25. And Foxy's telling me they're Montreal and Philly. So I will gladly go with that as the, and again, we're kind of going with the, kind of going with the main cards, uh, our main teams. Obviously, if they played like, you know, one season at the end of their career with one team. So we kind of go off the uh, jersey colors as well as, um, who they played the majority of their career with. 
So Kurt's saying uh, Flyers and Habs. So, yeah, I think we're both on the uh, same page there with this one. So Canadians and Flyers. So, again, we'll uh, do it at the end. Let me get him to sleep here real fast, these two guys. And top loader. I mean, I, I do like Leafs cards a lot, but just the little extra ass pain of having to look them up or rely on, on you guys to uh, help out just kind of slow things down and a little extra work. But awesome card there to start off the Leaf box. Next up, we have a dual auto of Yarmir Yager and Pavel Bure. This is out of five. Yarmir Yager and Pavel Bure. I know Yager's Penguins. He's even got his uh, black and kind of silver uh, jersey there. Pavel Bure, I do not remember. <clears throat> but uh, nice dual auto and dual uh, jersey there for this one for Yager and Pavel Bure. So pens in Florida. Throw him in here. We'll sound the double auto horns for this one. So I write down who it is. Sharp card though, and we'll flip it over here real fast. Yeah, definitely Florida's colors now that I look at it. So Florida and um, penguins here for Bure. And uh, Penguins, not coming to focus now. Yeah, definitely the Florida colors there, not the uh, Vancouver colors. But Sharp Card will do the dual auto horns. And one more time for doubles. All right. So next up we have, here's where it's going to be fun for me. Make sure it's only one-sided. Yeah. This is the greatest of all time. This is 2 of 12 for Tim Horton, Borge Selming, Paul Coffey, Chris Chelios, Ray Bork, Dennis Potvin, Jacques Lapierre, and Doug Harvey. So I know a lot of those off the top of my head. I don't know a few of them. This will be one that I can definitely look up later. But again, it's uh, Horton, Borges Salming, Paul Coffey, Chelios, Doug Harvey, Jacques Lapierre, Dennis Potvin, and Raymond Bork. So awesome card there. And again, this is uh, number two out of 12 for this one. But we'll just worry about him later. Yeah, the ones that stand out that I know, I know Horton, Coffee, Chelios, Potveen, and uh, Ray Bork, Raymond Bork. Those are the easy ones for me, but we'll look them up later. Again, uh, greatest of all time. So nice card there. And next up, we've got another one that's going to be uh, the next three are all crazy patches. This is game seven. This is uh, make it easy for me. It's between Toronto and Philadelphia. Game seven of the 76 quarterfinals. 76 quarterfinals here. On the top you have for Toronto, you got Lanny, Lanny McDonald, Borge Salming. They're answering some of these for me. Bill Barber and Reggie, Reggie Leach. On the bottom for Philly, you got Bernie Parent as a goalie, Bobby Clark, and you got Daryl Sittler. So you're going back to the Philly uh, – they called the Broad Street Bullies back then, I believe, with uh, Clark and Sittler. Clark with his little gap tooth smile when he's getting all those fights. But uh, between Toronto and Philly here for this one, so that'll be an easy one for whoever has uh, the Leafs and the Flyers. Nice game seven card there. All right, and we got one more card out of Leaf, and it's going to be another uh, one that is all patches here. We have Blades of Steel, and we're going way back. Well, come on, way back. 
Awesome card here. Luke Robitaille in the top left. Al McGinnis with the leather in the middle. Scott Niedemeyer top right. Brett Hull bottom left. Keith Kachuk bottom middle. And Brendan Shanahan bottom right. So you see McGinnis is clearly some kind of leather there. So is Brendan Shanahan in the bottom right. So a nice, uh, nice card there. And this is an 8 out of 9. That's all part of the um, skate, I would imagine, because it's the Blades of Steel. But 8 out of 9. Awesome card. Let's get him in a uh, top over here. I'll, I'll flip it over to see if it's game used, Chris. Uh, it says game used memorabilia, but you can clear, tell by the uh, leather. I don't think it can be anything other than the skate. It doesn't look like uh, gloves, especially the one of Al McGinnis here. It's kind of like a kind of like a baseball glove color. So I'm guessing gloves. But hard to come into focus again. It's uh, out of nine, and Luke Robitaille, Al McGinnis, Scott Niedermeyer, Shanahan, Kachuk and uh, Brett Hall. So a cool card there to kind of end this break. So what I'm going to do is uh, take about a two-minute break here to clear out these cards. I've got uh, the next break in the uh, background there. I'll kind of get these cards out of the way and bring those cards forward. We'll do a two-minute break, and then we'll kick that one off. So if you give me just a second, I'll get the uh, timer going. And timer has started. Gonna see some moving hands here. All right. I saw AJ had mentioned. Uh, I don't know if I said it before, but. He mentioned that he has the uh, one of those Gila Fleur um, buyback base cards if somebody was looking to make the rainbow out of that. So reach out to AJ Fredrickson if you are looking for that. <clears throat> All right. And this next one, the Allure SPX and the Ingrained is break... 41, break 41. We got about a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock before we get going. We'll start with the Allure, then the SPX and the Ingrain, kind of go from um, lowest to highest. <clears throat> but yeah, I was thinking get uh, some OPG Platinums when they come out, get some of that uh, new product that Upper Deck was pitching. Uh, might go back to some series uh, one and two, maybe just one box of those, maybe just for some young gun hunting, but it's a lot of cards, just for a lot of base cards, just for the young guns. But we could maybe look for the, some of those for a box or two. I'm going to try to stay away from a lure since we went through cases of that now. Um, just try to bring some stuff in that we haven't really hit, we haven't done a lot of yet. So uh, for some upcoming breaks that we have, uh, we still have <clears throat> break 42 is out there. And 42 is two boxes of a lure, two boxes of SPX, and two boxes of ingrained. Then I'm going to release three breaks tomorrow. Um, one's going to be two boxes of Trilogy, and that's going to be a pick your division. So only four spots in that. Then I'm going to do um, a break of Allure, Ingrained, SPX, and Trilogy. And then I'm going to do two Allure, two Trilogy, two SPX. So that'll be uh, the three breaks there. I don't have the prices for them yet. And if you guys want after the break and after we do the randoming of the cards, I can tell you again what those boxes were if, just to see if you're interested or not. Um, but I figure 
that'll give us uh, four breaks going at a time. And the two boxes, the trilogy apply sell out fast because it's just the uh, divisions anyway. So here we go. I believe my timer has went off. Yes, it has. So break 41. We'll start off with the allure. Good luck, everyone, in this one. Hopefully we can keep the uh, – hopefully we can keep the um, – Columbus Street going. Yeah, David, I hear you, man. I'm I'm going through it. I had a case, so I have one box here, two boxes, basically uh, six boxes left of the lure, and then we'll be done with the lure. I know we've we've hit a lure hard. I think we've went through. I want to say four cases of it. So I guess that two, three, four, five, counting this one, six boxes left of the lure, and then we'll move on. I think OPG Platinum would be a fun one to go after their parallels and the autos. There you go. Empty box. All right. Here we go. Hopefully we've come across the man, the myth, the legend. You all know his name. First up, Kel McCarr, rookie card. Kel McCarr, let's make some room over here for the Avalanche. Coming a lot closer here. So McCarr for the Avs. We have a top 50 insert for Brady Keeper. Just trying to see where they can come into focus here. Let me move my phone goes out of the way. So we're not focusing on them. There we go. Brady Keeper, top 50 insert. Then we have Ilya Makaya for the Maple Leafs. Makaya for the Maple Leafs, the nice big white patch there. So Makaya for the Maple Leafs. Yeah, I'm going, I'm guessing it's uh, Leafs is foxy as usual. So Makaya and the Leafs. There we go. And our last few cards, we have Carl Grunstrom and the Kings. Grunstrom and the Kings. And our last card is Nathan McKinnon for Colorado. Nathan McKinnon for the Avalanche. All right. Second pack. Just rip that plastic off right there. We have Matthew Barzell for the Islanders. Barzell for the Islanders. We have Mark Sheafley for the Jets. Sheafley for the Jets. We have Ilya Makaya for the Leafs. Makaya for the Leafs. Just saw him. Makaya for the Leafs. Then we have a red rainbow of Eric Carlson for the Sharks. Eric Carlson and the Sharks, red rainbow. Back looks good. And we have Rudolph Balsers for the Senators, Balsers for the Senators. And our last card is Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. All right. Next up we have Connor Hellebuck for the Jets. Give me just a second here. Hellebuck for the Jets. Top 50 insert for Rasmus Sandin and the Leafs. Sandin and the Leafs. We have a white rainbow for Guillaume Brisebois. Guillaume Brisebois for the Canucks. White rainbow for Guillaume Brisebois and the Canucks. Back looks good. We got Johnny Carlson for the Caps. Carlson for the Caps. Brock Besser for the Canucks. Besser for the Canucks and Andre Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Besser for the Canucks and Vasilevsky for the Lightning. And next up. This one wants to be difficult. There you go. All right, so we have a very low numbered card here. It's only two cards per pack. So we'll go see what we got. For the Devils, we have Taylor Hall, Winter Storm Warning. Nice insert here, one of my favorites for uh, Lure. 
Newark there right in the middle of the storm. But Taylor Hall for the Devils. And our big hit here is going to be Brady Kachuk for the Senators. Brady Kachuk for the Senators. It's a Senators night. We will get him in a sleeve here and get him in a top loader. This would be the Purple Line Auto. I'm guessing out of 10, but I could be wrong. We'll check the back here in just a second. But a nice white, black, and red patch with the red having the uh, little white dots in it. Like the little sewing dots there. Sharp looking uh, Kachuk card. And the numbering is Purple Diamond Auto out of 10. One out of 10 for uh, Kachuk. Does not want to... It's not going to come into focus at all, but one out of 10 on the backside there. Purple Diamond Auto for Brady Kachuk and the Sens. Yeah, AJ, I think you've got um, the Senators the last two breaks toward the end. I think they've came through for you. So congrats on that one. We'll do the uh, auto horns. Nice freaking low numbered auto there. All right. Next up we have Brad Marchand for the Bruins. Brad Marchand for the Bruins. AJ, it totally is. Got Mitch Marner for the Leafs. Marner for the Leafs. We got top 50 for Kirby Dak and the Blackhawks. Kirby Deck and the Blackhawks top 50. Got a white rainbow for Nick Suzuki and the Canadians. Nick Suzuki and the Canadians. We'll turn it over here. White rainbow looks good in the back. Got Zach McEwen for the Canucks. McEwen for the Canucks. And Sebastian Ajo for Carolina. Sebastian Ajo for Carolina. I totally understand you guys wanting to get your, uh, your favorite teams, like Foxy always gets the Leafs. Bird always Bruins, but I swear our last our last teams to be claimed come up big. I don't know why. I'm sure it'll change at some point, but for the last two or three, it has been a solid last couple teams uh, hits. Just how they uh, how they fall. So first up out of this pack, we have a uh, Panarin for the Rangers. Our team Panarin for the Rangers, and we have PK Subban for the Devils. Subban for the Devs. Oliver Ekman Larson for the Coyotes. Ekman Larson for the Coyotes. And an iced out Connor McDavid. Sharp looking card here. Put them down here. Um, I've seen these on eBay go anywhere from like a dollar and then people asking like $30 for them, which I think is a bit high for a parallel. Probably not selling it at 30 bucks, but. Um, if you're not into collecting McDavid, which who isn't, but if you've got more than one of these, they are going for a nice price on uh, eBay. I'd say probably like selling extra like around like five to 10 bucks. But you see a uh, wrong sleeve size here. Just a second. Talking to um, David Bird earlier, eBay's prices are all over the place. And it's funny you see some stuff sold for like, crazy amounts others people trying to sell the same card and it doesn't sell just a weird little place but a sharp card here of a connor the iced out insert yeah glenn it is and like i said i don't know if the 30 dollar version is uh selling out because it's the same card um at 30 dollars or not but maybe people are just kind of crazy what they're asking for it i've also seen iced outs now with autos on the front here which are pretty awesome too um which I haven't seen, we haven't pulled before, but I have seen them now. So cool card there of Connor. And Oilers. And our final two cards in this pack, we have Mitch Marner, uh, Red Rainbow. Mitch Marner for the Leafs, Red Rainbow. Back looks good. And Thomas Hurdle for the Sharks. Hurdle for the Sharks. All right. And our... Next pack here, got a thick one in there, so probably a jersey in here. Got Alexander Texier for the Blue Jackets. 
Texier for the Blue Jackets. Top 50 insert for Taro Harost and the Red Wings. Taro Harost and the Red Wings. Top 50. So here's our big thick patch of Jake Gensel and the Penguins. Gensel and the Penguins. This will be a red rainbow jersey, non numbered, still a sharp card. Nice bright yellow there. So a nice one there of Gensel and the Penguins. And we have Blake Lazot for the Kings, or Lazot, Lazot for the Kings. And our last card is Carlson for the Sharks. Blake Lazot for the Kings and Eric Carlson for the Sharks. And our last pack for Lure. We have Johnny Hockey for the Flames. So we can bring him closer. Johnny Hockey for the Flames. Nico Hirscher for the Devils. Hirscher for the Devils. And the last pack usually has one upside down one. Jack Hughes for the Devils. Jack Hughes for the Devils. Make sure there's nothing in the back. Yeah, nice card there. We got a white rainbow for Farabee and the Flyers. Joel Farabee and the Flyers. Back looks good. We got Bob for the Panthers, Bob Roski for the Panthers, and Cody Glass for the Vegas Knights. Cody Glass for the Knights. So that wraps up the allure. And moving on to ingrained. Numbers there, barcode number. Pack. Numbers in that box there. If anybody wants them, empty box. This one feels a little heavy, so I'm guessing we have the medallion card in it. And I'll know as soon as we open it. And yes, we do. So we have one of those awesome medallions. Previously, we pulled Gretzky. We pulled, uh, I want to say, is it Yeiserman? Empty pack there. We pulled, I mean, they're obviously uh, big names, but so we have one of them here. It'd be cool to see who we got. But first up, we have a synthesis of Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson and the Sharks. Base card with the silver or base synthesis. The gold would have the numbering on it. But nice synthesis card here of Carlson and the Sharks. Sharp card there. All right. Yeah, it is, Glenn. The only ones that get a little better are the, instead of silver here, it'd be gold, and then the number would be over here. But sharp card. And so for our medallion card... We have for Carolina, Cam Ward. That's kind of a first. Cam Ward with the Con Smythe Trophy. Sharp looking card there. And it's already in a penny sleeve. It comes in a penny sleeve, so you can kind of uh, see it there. And I just want to say for tonight only, if you look in the reflection of the maple leaf, you can see I'm wearing a Carolina hat. Look at that. So nice uh, Cam Ward here. Sharp looking card. We'll put him in the top loader. I've got family in um, Carolina, Minnesota, and Vegas, so I get different hockey hats. And we'll turn over to the back here. 48 out of 100 for this card. 48 out of 100, again, for Cam Ward and Carolina. So sharp looking one. Next up, we have for the Red Wings, a remnants of Chris Chelios. Chris Chelios remnants. And this is numbered three out of 100. 
three out of 100 for Chelios and the Red Wings. Throw him in here. Yeah, AJ saw the redemption. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, there's other breakers that do this. Why not join in on the fun? Uh, if anybody can guess the redemption, I'll I'll give uh, 30 seconds, only one guess per person. If you can guess the redemption, I will throw in a bonus card in your cards. So here we go. 30 seconds, guess the redemption starting now. Only one guess per person. A few guesses in there. Rose Keller, Sorelli, Eichel, Pasta, Eskinen. All right, we'll say uh, guess is closed. We'll be closed here. Boom. All right, again, real fast. Here was the, I uh, don't want to blow over this card because this card is sweet. Uh, three out of a hundred for Chelios and the Red Wings. There's the back there. Up oh, so Marcus and David will uh, will count your guesses too if it is. But here we go. The redemption is Juso Valamaki. Yuso Valamaki. Did anyone call him? I don't think anybody did. And no, I don't see anybody calling uh, calling him. But to answer um, Chris's question, Chris, yes, the medallion is heavy. It's it's a real piece of like metal there. So it makes the whole pack heavy, but it is a heavy card too, by upper by any card standards. But again, so this one here is um, ingrained rookie signature shots. Number to 249, Yuso Valamaki. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, Marcus is right. <laughs> Marcus, I would have taken like uh, just a J and like a V and some vowels. And then we, we would have called it even if anybody was close to that. Because you're right, they would have spelled it wrong. But so redemption auto for uh, Yuso Valamaki, number to 249 here. And we got a couple cards left. We got a very – holy cow. That one is bent. Our last card is bent badly there, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, first up, we have Andreas uh, Johnson for the Maple Leafs, 285 out of 299. 285 out of 299 for the Leafs. And let's see what's going on with this last card here. Here's this one for uh, Foxy real fast. Sharp looking card. And our last card here, you can tell there's like a huge ding on it. If you look at that. Don't know what happened there. So I will uh, let's see who has a Canadian. It's a nice Patrick Waugh. If you look at it straight on, you can't tell. But, if, again, if you turn it sideways, you can see it's bent badly there. Um, so let's see who has the Canadians. Do, 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 do. Canadians in this one was Sean Gio. I'll, I'll get with Sean after this and see if he wants me to go with upper deck to – Get a replacement or if it doesn't matter, but clearly something like hit it right here. And then you can see like the little divot in the card there. Unfortunate too. But uh, this was numbered uh, 41 out of 29. So I'm going to keep it and we'll get that box of ingrained out. Like I said, I'll talk with Sean Geo offline about this. See what he wants to do here. I do need to grab some more top loaders. So give me just a second here. 
I'm gonna put Sean, I'm gonna put Patrick here just so I remember to keep him separate. But give me just a second, I'm gonna grab some top loaders for our last box. And put this back up here too. <clears throat> All right. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear this, but let me open these real fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wa hasn't been having a great year anyways. He hasn't saved anything. I can open top loaders for some reason. His stats are horrible this year. There we go. All right. So moving on. Last box of the break. We got our SPXs here. Shares him, been on Montreal Police are investigating. <laughs> Yeah, there's been some there's been some stuff like that. Uh, barcode. So uh, I've only dealt with upper deck one time in the uh, in the past, and a lot of you that have been around a while know what that was all about. So I'm not going to send this card out first, but Stature is the product that I want to look into with uh, OPG when it comes out April 15th, I believe, with this. Should be uh, good. Fun in the break. Empty box here. But yeah, hopefully uh, I will not send this card to Sean Geo and straighten out with upper deck first before that comes back and bites me again. Oh, there's only one card per pack, so let's just do this. Empty wrapper uh, there. First up for the Nashville Predators, we have... Sick freaking card, Dante Fabro. Dante Fabro auto with a crazy uh, Preds patch there. Not sure what part of that would be. Maybe right, be it'd be right behind his ear. So that's his like the colors of his ear going down there, and the rest of the logo going out. Awesome card for Fabro. This is a uh, 75 out of 125. 75 out of 125 for the Preds. And yes, as AJ pointed out, like the bottom six that never want to fill always have hits. And just as a uh, heads up, I know I posted the link a few times in the chat. SPX, you can see what they have. Um, stars hardly ever fill. Preds, they are huge in uh, SPX this year. Just so you know, if you are interested in buying them, maybe later on. But Fabro and the uh, Preds. I forget the website, but you can go on there and it has like every single card in SPX for this year. And they do have some pretty solid hits, but nobody wants them. So we'll sound the uh, auto horn here for Fabro and the Preds. I remember it was. Uh, Early on in our breaks, we had the one of one um, Rem Pitlick, and that was that was huge for like one of the last teams. So empty there for uh, Nashville. For the Ducks, we have Ryan Getzlaff. Getzlaff for the Ducks. Bring them closer. This is numbered sixty-five out of one forty-nine. Sixty-five out of one forty-nine for Getz and the Ducks. David, are you asking for the numbers of uh, Fabro there? If so, it's 75 out of 125 for uh, Fabro. They kind of, Glenn, I hear you, they, they do look ugly, but for card purposes, they really stand out. Like that really pops out with the uh, back, black background here. Same with the, uh, same with the iced out like the dark blue, the orange really stands out. So for card collecting alone, I like them, but with the, watching them on TV, it looks like you're watching deer hunters. Again, this was 65 out of 149 for Get Slaff. And the ducks. And 
the slug. All right. Next up, we have a rookie for the Avalanche. You know who this is going to be? Kale McCarr. And he does not want to come into focus. This is like a sheet of glass in the front of his card. It's so clean. This is 129 out of 299. 129 out of 299 Obsidian Rookie for Kale McCarr in Colorado. <laughs> Apparently, Glenn thinks uh, weird films are feel goods. That's all right. Maybe you can play some banjo for us, Glenn. So, Camel Car, 129 out of 299. Here's the back there Black Obsidian Rookie. I'm trying to get it into focus, but does not want to. I bring them in super close. My sharp looking card. My car. And the slug. And last card. We have also back to back Avalanche here. We have Miko Rantanen. Miko Rantanen. This is 16 out of 199. 16 out of 199 for Miko and the Avs. There we go. All right. So that is it for this break. Ending on Miko and the Avs. So what we're going to do, like I said, we will go offline now temporarily for about 30 minutes max. We'll set up the random.orgs for those, uh, let's say we got – five cards here. I'll have everything kind of um, set up on the computer for it to go to random. And as far as uh, the teams that get a, get a chance to those cards and we'll random those off here shortly and then we'll uh, go from there. So uh, be back on in just a few minutes. I'll drop a link in the uh, Twitter and also the uh, group chat. And if you're not in the group chat and want to get in, I can add more people somehow now. I'm not sure how that Twitter's let me do it, but uh, feel free to let me know and I can add you into it. Um, so give me a few minutes and we'll come back online, but until then, uh, take care. If you don't come back, no big deal. It's, uh, only for a few guys that are getting a random card. So we'll see you back on Twitter if you don't come back, but if you do come back, give us like 20 minutes. See you then. Bye-bye.